Hey guys, welcome to my first deck list video, and today we're gonna do Gengar Mimikyu. Um, so first of all, I'm nervous as hell right now, so just put it out there. So if you see me messing up saying a name, please don't judge me. If you do, oh well, but you know, I'm new, starting this as a hobby. So if I mumble my words, I apologize. Uh, it's not that I do not know their names, but it's just kind of hard for me to uh, pronounce his name sometimes. But anyways, we're starting first with uh, three Gengars. Uh, it's attack. First attack is uh, two Psychic Energies. It does 50 per trainer in your opponent's hand. The GX is uh, one energy. Um, your opponent can play any cards next turn, and if it has an extra energy, both of you... You and your opponent uh, draw until they have seven cards. Uh, I like the GX because, you know, if, if you're low hand, you know, you draw seven. Also, your opponent draws seven, you know, if you have the extra energy. But the cool thing about it is that, well, not so cool, but kind of cool is that when they draw seven, up to seven, and it's a, it's a turn, and they attack, they draw for turn, that's eight cards. But they can play any of them. So for my turn, when it's my turn, I can attack for big numbers because I'm pretty sure they have like an Ultra Ball, uh, Switch, or you know any other item or Guzma or anything like that. So it's really good. You can knock out anything by the second, third, second turn, or third turn. Uh, so yeah, that's that. I'm also gonna play two copies of Marshadow. Then again, more shadows so you can use it to copy the attack of a Gengar. That way they don't take three prices, they only take two prices. Also, I'll play two copies of King K and two copies of Malamar. Uh, Malamar is, so you know, you can recharge uh, either your uh, more shadow or your Gengar. Uh, I played Tensei today, it's pretty good. I liked it. Um, it wasn't really that hard to work with, you know. Uh, there were times when I needed to retreat, and Marshall is just one energy, so it was really easy to do that. So I just retreat, and then Malamar to attach. Also, I played two copies of Omastar. Uh Yes, the black and white because of proxies, and also I ran out of ink. So haha, to that. Yeah, I played two copies of those. Um, that is to item lock your opponent. So, you know, if you item lock them, you're going to hit for big numbers for Gengar. Also, for items, I'll show you for items. Oh, I'm sorry. Can't forget Lele, Oranguru, Baby Cube. One LA because I need to keep my bench space low so I can use Omar Star's ability. Uh, Oranguru is so I can draw Mimikyu is for copycat. Uh, as you can see, Mimikyu is only two energies. So if it's in the discard pile, Marshadow can actually copy the attack of your opponent. So if I'm going against Zoroark, you know, just screw my Zoroark and uh, put Marshadow in the front, I can hit for big numbers because it's hitting for weakness. Um, that's the reason I'm playing one copy of Mimi Q, and uh, you know, Lele is you know, fucking in a supporter. That's that for items, play four copies or of four copies of Mysterious Treasure, obviously, to your psychic Pokemon, your Malamar, or your Gengar, Inke, or Lele, Ultra Ball, so I can get Oma Star. Marshadow or Anguru. Two choice bands just in case if you only have like two trainers, you trainers that be doing like 180 or uh, just 130. You know what I mean? Uh, Ultra the Moon, three copies of that. So I can have a free retreat because Marshadow is just one retreat and Malamar is two. I uh, know Malamar is three, so I have to probably discard one, but Gengar is actually two. Countercatcher is because if they're able to knock out a Gengar, uh, I'll be three prices behind. So I just let Sander anything retreat with uh, Alter the Moon and knock out anything that they have on the active, hopefully. 
one stretcher, one fuel blower, and one pal pad stretcher so I can get my Malamars, you know, and any po other Pokemon, right? My fuel blower, I'm only playing one because I need space. I wish I could play two. And uh, one pal pad to bring any support from the Discord pond to my hand. Uh, I played two red candies right there and three um, identified fossil. I played three of them because I want to get almost star two red candies so I can evolve at least one of them. Just to evolve one of them. Uh, I like what this does because if it were to be inactive, right, I can just recharge, uh, charge with Malamar, either Mars Shadow or a uh, uh, what do they call that thing? Gengar, and I'll just bring it back, discard it, put it forward, and attack. And then two fossils. This one, I played two because one of them, I, it just says that I can bring it from the discard pile back to you. And the other one, you actually look two fossils and put them into your hand. So I just played two copies. Um, but yeah, that's for the items count. For the supporters, three Cynthia's, four Guzmas. Four Guzmas is because I have Altar of the Moon, so I have that free retreat. So I can just Guzma anything I want. If I want to install someone, Guzma it out, retreat, one us, and you know, to retreat and you know, stall for a little, for a little bit. Also have Sight Seer, three of those again, so I can discard my hand. If I'm able to discard that energy or Gengar, that way I can use more Shadow or Malamar to recharge. Two copies of Sorola, two copies of this because Gengar is 240, right? So if it's about to die, let's roll up, bring it back, drop it down, retreat, or whatever I can do, but so it won't die. That's the only, you know, obviously, right? And uh, one copy of Lily. Uh, I want to play two copies of Lily, but for right now, I'm only playing one, and that's so I can just go ham in the first turn. All right. And for energies, I'm playing, playing eight copies. Um, it's not that bad, eight copies. Um, I have Alamar on the bench, so I'm able to just bring back one energy to retreat. You know, a Mars Shadow costs one energy. I know Malamar costs two, but at the time, I'm pretty sure I have an Altar of the Moon. So it's not gonna hurt me. I'm able to, you know, just bring energy back. So yeah, that's that's the deck list uh, that I'm playing with. But I I was play testing it today and it was a little difficult for me to bring out Star. Most of the time I just had the fossil on the bench and it, it wasn't evolving. I wasn't able to draw it fast enough. I know people play nine tails so you can get your uh, red candy and ultra ball, but eh, it, it wasn't really working for me. So I'm thinking of doing is taking this out, right? Those and here you go. This one's and this one's. So that's how many. Let's check it out. Here we see one red candy, two red candies. Three identify fossils. Two fossil excavations and almost star. So the overall, oh my God, what am I doing? Ready? Let's count this again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine of those, so I'm pretty sure, you know, I want to take this out because I wasn't able to evolve them. And I was just doing this job with my Shadow and Gengar. But what I noticed is that the discard pile was full of items. Because they're trying to, you know, to have a small hand so it wouldn't hit them as hard. So I'm like, dude, items in the discard pile, what Pokemon goes best with. So I was like, you know what? We're gonna eat the we're gonna add the trash. That's what we're gonna do. So so there are nine copies, right? Let me see. Play one, two, three, right? And then let's see right here. 
Three Trubbish, so that's six. Then I can add an extra Rescue Stretcher, so I can rescue those guys back. So I'll be playing two. And another Lily. Obviously, if you have the other one on the price, on the prices, you know, you have an extra one. And super scoop up. I know I played two Osorolas, but you know, you never know. You never know. So yeah, probably switch those for those and try that out. Oh, Lord Jesus. We're missing one more. Oh no, where'd it go? Uh oh. Whoa. Uh -oh. Come on guys, is it here? Did I miss it? Did I miss it? Oh, there it is. Ha <laughs> ha. Oops. But yeah though. Uh, let me know if you guys like the deck list. Uh, leave a comment down below. Press like. My first video. Love it or not. It's all good with me. You guys have a good day.